you've been creating playlists for a while now on YouTube. You've been grouping videos together for various reasons. And if you haven't, you should check out my video on creating playlists. But now that you've got some playlists going, uh, did you know that you could dive in and organize them and edit them in different ways for different purposes? Let's take a look. To edit a playlist, first it has to be your own playlist, and you need to get to the playlist page. So one way to do that is to look over here in the guide, which you can toggle on and off here, and you've got your library. This is where your playlists are. So I could click show more to see more of my playlist, but it happens to be this one right here that I want to edit. So I click on that playlist. It takes me to uh, this playlist view. Um, if I want to see that a little bigger, I can go ahead and close the guide there. And you'll notice because it's my own playlist, I have an edit button right here. Now I can click the edit button so that I have a number of different ways that I can edit. One thing I can do is change the name of the playlist. I'm actually going to change the name here to represent uh, my book better. YouTube in the Classroom, Getting Started. Okay, so I've, got, I've changed my title. I can add a description here. I've gone ahead and pasted in a description there. And as I scroll down, I'm presented with some other options. You can see as I hover my mouse, I get some different options here. So I could move a video to the top or the bottom. I could add or edit notes. And I can set uh, a specific video as the thumbnail. I can also come over here and drag things around. Now, I actually want these in the order that they are in the book. Under the Playlist Settings button here, I have some other options. So this is where I could change the privacy setting, but I'm going to leave these as public because I want people to be able to find them. And I've got manual ordering on, so I can put them in the order that I want. I could, I could choose a number of different ordering methods. There are a couple of advanced settings here that you can check out, but I'm going to leave it just as it is. The last thing I'll point out on the editing playlist page is uh, that you can add more videos. Now this add videos button comes in handy if you have a list of links that you've collected over time because you can come here to the URL and keep pasting in the URL. So let's say you've got a Word document where you've collected videos over the years uh, that you use for a certain unit of study. You can paste them in one at a time here and add the videos in a quick fashion that way. So that's how you edit and organize a playlist, change its privacy, do all sorts of stuff like that. If you learned something, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And of course, if you want more videos like this, if you would just hit the subscribe button, you'll be telling YouTube that you want more of my videos coming your way. Lastly, I would encourage you to check out my website where you can learn more about my book, 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom. All right, folks, thanks again for watching. Until next time.